Hi, I'm Krishna from the Things Industries and this is the Things Indoor Gateway Pro. The Things Indoor Gateway Pro is a unique solution in the LoRaWAN space. It's a fully cloud managed gateway, which means that you don't need physical access to the gateway to manage it. In fact, there is no way to physically access the gateway settings, which makes it secure by design. The Things Indoor Gateway Pro comes with cellular data included, which means that you don't have to worry about sourcing IoT SIMs and setting up data contracts. We take care of all of that for you. The Things Indoor Gateway Pro also supports true zero touch installations. All you typically need to do to install a TTIC Pro is to plug in the power cable and or an ethernet cable. And finally, it is fully integrated with the Things Stack, which means that you can get started right away with your LoRaWAN use case and be assured that you have all the right tools to scale quickly and easily. In this video, I'll show you how simple it is to purchase one or many gateways, how straightforward they are to set up, and how convenient it is to manage them from the ThingStack console. In order to purchase Things Indoor Gateway Pro, all you have to do is to go to our webshop, thethingshop.com, and look for the gateway variant that you would need and the quantity, and fill in your shipping details. As of the recording of this video, we ship gateways to Europe and North America, and we also offer you many monthly and yearly subscription options. You can manage your subscriptions using our subscriptions page and you will get access to it once you purchase a gateway. We will send you an email with all the relevant information. Now that you've purchased, unboxed and created a subscription for your gateway, now you can go ahead and register this on the Things Tech. This process is called gateway claiming and is typically done by the technical administrator of your IoT fleet. For the claiming of the gateway, you would need a secret owner token, which is part of a QR code. That is not the QR code that is found on this page or what's found on your gateway's box. This is a special QR code which contains a secret, which is printed on the back panel of your gateway. In order to do this, if you take the back panel, you can move it like so counterclockwise. And here typically is where you find the QR code. In order to claim a gateway, first head over to one of the ThingStack installations, go to Gateway section and click on Register Gateways. Now you can scan a gateway QR code that is found on the back panel of the gateway. And in order to do that, I will click this button, Scan Gateway QR Code, and I will give access to my camera. I'm using the continuity camera on my iPhone to do this, but you can use the laptop camera also. And now, as soon as I scan the QR code, instantaneously these two fields get filled. You can now click apply and then these details will be applied. You can use a gateway ID of your choice. I'm just going to call this the Things Indoor Gateway Pro. And I'm going to select an appropriate frequency plan for this gateway. I'm just going to choose the first one and then click on claim gateway. Now your gateway is claimed and it's ready to go. Now, since this is a managed gateway, you can typically manage the connectivity settings directly from the cloud. You can choose Ethernet, Wi-Fi, or just use the cellular that is part of the gateway. At this moment, all three are disconnected because I have not connected the gateway yet. Now, let me connect power to this gateway. I'm going to pick up my gateway and then flip over to the back side and remove this back panel. This is actually quite easy. You can just insert your finger here and then click to the left hand side or counterclockwise and that opens the back panel. Now this plate, you can keep it for later. And here I can typically see that there's the QR code, which we just saw used to claim the gateway. You also have some connectivity options here. So if you see here, you have the power slot that is on the top side. On the left, you have the ethernet, and also you have a SIM card, which is of course part of your cellular subscription. Now, what I'm going to do is to connect power to this uh, gateway. And for that, I'm just going to take the USB cable that is part of the box and then plug it into this USB slot that is at the back of the gateway. Make sure it's properly secured. You can see the LEDs now running. Once you've connected your gateway to power, the gateway takes a few seconds to turn back on. This is usually quite quick and it takes anywhere between 10 to 20 seconds. And now, as you can see, the gateway is connected to the ThingStack gateway controller which is a special component used to connect to the gateway. And within a few seconds more, you will also see that the gateway is now connected to the ThingStack instance to then send and receive LoRaWAN traffic. 
And in the connection settings panel, you can see the way the gateway that is connected or the backhaul that is used. And in this case, they're both cellular. Now let's connect this gateway remotely to a Wi-Fi access point. I'm going to create this option to select the config for only one gateway. The gateway performs a Wi-Fi access point scan in the region where the gateway is connected. You can choose the SSID that you want and then enter the password. And once it is connected, you now have to wait for a few seconds for the gateway to switch from LTE to Wi-Fi and the gateway will then connect to the Wi-Fi through the Think stack. The Think Center Gateway Pro is a fully cloud-managed LoRaWAN gateway and we've made it super easy for you to monitor and manage your gateway directly from the ThinkStack console. In order to manage your gateway, head to the ThinkStack console and look for your gateway. You can go to the gateway section and look for the particular gateway that you want to manage. And in the gateway overview page, you can see that there are lots of information about this gateway. We have some basic statistics on the number of uplinks, downlinks, status messages, and also connection settings. You can also see some network settings which you can configure directly from this page. If you want to change the backhaul of a gateway, it's very easy for you to do that. You can go to the connection settings and here you can see the connection status of the gateway. You can also see what backhaul the gateway is connected to. Using this page, you can either choose a different access point or you can change it to Ethernet only or even a cellular only. The Things Inter Gateway Pro is deeply integrated with the ThinkStack Network Operations Center. This is your one-stop shop for very detailed long-term analytics of the gateway. Here, you can see information such as the traffic pattern. You can look at channel utilization, round trip times to measure backhaul performance, etc. And all of this data is conveniently available for you from directly from the ThinkStack cloud. And using these features, you can remotely monitor and manage your gateway from the comfort of the ThinkStack console. You can do this for one gateway or a fleet of multiple gateways. And now that you know everything you need to know to get started with the Things Indoor Gateway Pro, go ahead to the thingshop.com to get your own gateways.